Good morning. Today is August 20th. I can't believe the month is almost over. Like, where did summer go, right? Um, we are reading from the New Living Translation, and we're on Psalms 109. It is a morning. It is a morning. I am um, very tired and just, uh, you know, but I'm here because I love you. That's why I'm here. You know what I mean? And it is a thing that... Um, I was just looking back, like, I was just telling a friend of mine last night, like, I started this almost a year ago, where God told me to use my platform for good, and spread the word, the word of God, about a year ago, so I've been doing this every morning for almost a year, on, um, I think September, September 20th, is it September? September 23rd, I think, is when I started. You can look back on my YouTube channel. All the videos are there. When I started my first devotional, it started off with devotionals, not reading the Bible. And then God's like, you need to read the Bible. I'm like, okay. So, so yes, I am so blessed to be a part of this and, you know, help transformation, right? Because God can transform us. He did it to me. did it to me. Uh, so I'm going to pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for everything you have done in my life and everybody else's life who's watching this, Lord Jesus, that sometimes we don't remember God. Sometimes we don't remember everything you have done. And when things get tough, we're like, where are you, God? Where are you, God? But you're always there because you love us so much. You just love us so much. You do. And I just thank you, really, Lord Jesus, just thank you for being there. Thank you for... Uh, changing me, Lord Jesus. Thank you for um, giving me a platform and a voice that I can use for your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that when we do this Bible study, Lord Jesus, that everybody who is watching, Lord Jesus, receives a message from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Psalms 109, it says, O oh God, whom I praise, don't stand silent and aloof. While the wicked slander me and tell lies about me, they surround me with hateful words and fight against me for no reason. I love them, but they try to destroy me with accusations, even as I'm praying for them. They repay evil for good and hatred for my love. There's a lot of information in that one. Are you ready for it? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. First of all, there is... So many people that want to talk about you, right? Mm-hmm. They always want to talk about you, you know. Um, I believe in another country right now, they're showing uh, the episodes of Love After Lockup, right? And I'm getting hate mail again, hate mail again, of, of how I did, uh, you know, um, Scott, may, may me rest in peace, um, his, uh, how I did, how dirty I did him, right? And I'm like, that was, you know, that was six years ago. Six years ago, I was not the person I am today, right? I'm not the person I am today, from six years ago. But you see it on TV, you think it's happening now, right? Yeah. Um, but you pray for those people. You pray for them. And that's what I did. I was like, well, I need to pray. Because, you know, the devil wants to use anybody and anything he can. He does. He wants to use these people and be like, you know, because maybe they don't have God, right? They don't have God. So they're not seeing like, oh, you know, this is a TV show or whatever. They're not seeing that, right? They're just seeing or whatever the situation is. They're seeing like with their eyes closed, not their eyes open. And so we have to really just pray over people because, you know, it says in the Bible, like, you know, when you pray, you heap a burning coals on their head, right? And it says that in the Bible, I'm not sure where, like I said, I'm not a theologist or anything like that. I don't know. I know scripture, but I don't know where it's at, right? God has to be like, oh, that's there, you know, and tells me. Um, but they always want to accuse you. People want to accuse you. They want to do all this stuff, you know, but you just pray for them. Number six, they say, Get an evil person to turn against him. Send an accuser to bring him to trial. When his case comes up for judgment, let him be pronounced guilty. Court, 
Count his prayers as sins. Mm. Let his years be few, few. Let someone else take his position. May his children become fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children wander as beggars and be driven from their ruined homes. May creditors seize his entire estate and strangers take all he has earned. Wow. So they say, let an evil person turn a let an evil person to turn against him. Send an accuser to bring him to trial. You know, when when we are not right with God. You know, when you're like in your walk with the devil, right? That's how I like to call it. I do because you're walking in total sin. You don't even care about God, right? You are just like, nope, God who, right? And you're just walking in sin. And it's like when you're walking in sin and you're okay with walking in sin, it's like you have all this stuff going on. You're losing everything. You know, you lose everything. You know, I remember when I uh, started smoking crack. Mm -hmm. I did it for like seven years. And I went from having all this stuff to having absolutely nothing. Not one single thing. I had nothing. Like, I mean, that drug, you know, the devil, the drug, the devil, right? Um, just took everything away from me. Everything. You know what I mean? And it is a thing of like, you know, I didn't even think about God. I didn't even ask God for help. I didn't even do any of that. And we're so far in our addiction or so far in our um, problems or issues, we don't think to stop, hey, I got a friend in Jesus. But you don't think about that then, right? Number 12, let no one be kind to him. Let no one pity his fatherless children. May all his offerings die. May his family name be blotted out in the next generation. May the Lord never forget the sins of his fathers. May his mother's sins never be erased from the record. May the Lord always remember these sins and may his name disappear from human memory. For he refused all kindness to others. He persecuted the poor and the needy and he hounded the brokenhearted to death. Now, as as Christians, as wonderful followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, we're not supposed to wish any evil upon anybody, right? We're supposed to love everybody, you know. Um, so this is, um, of course, it's a Psalm of David, right? <laughs> but it's like we want to think like that, right? We want to be like, oh, let's, you know, put curses on him. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know what I mean? And, you know, we're, we're supposed to love. We're supposed to love everybody. And number 17. He loved to curse. He loved to curse others. Now you curse him. He never blesses others. Now you don't bless him. Cursing is as natural to him as his clothing. Or the water he drinks. Or the rich food he eats. Now many... Now may his curses return to cling and cling to him like clothing. May they be tried tried around him like a belt. So funny, right? I'm going to tell you something about this, okay? So I have this highlighted, right? And the thing is, is that when you read a Bible message, right? When you read a scripture, it can mean something different totally the next day. It can totally mean something different, okay? So when I was going through something, somebody kept cursing around me, right? Like talking, like, you know, swears, right? And this is the scripture that I found for that, right? But now, now, like I'm looking at it as like there's a curse on somebody rather than somebody's cursing. Isn't that, that's a trip, right? Because now I don't see it as that. Now I see it as a different type of curse. Like, you know, like, oh, it says, he loved to curse others. Now you curse him, you know? So, like, he loved to curse others. Like, he loved to just, you know, I guess it's the same, right? Cursing, let's see. Cursing is as natural to him as his clothing or the water he drinks or the food he eats. Well, a minute ago, it wasn't like that, but now it is. Okay, so, cursing. 
Do you curse? Do you think it's okay to curse, right? Yeah, it kind of says in the Bible you're not supposed to do that. Um, I look at my mouth and like, would Jesus say that? Would Jesus say what is coming out of your mouth? Hmm? I'm waiting for an answer because it's just like that, like, you know, when, when they're throwing stones at the lady and they're like, whoever doesn't have a sin, uh, you know what I mean? Throw a stone. Nobody could throw a stone, right? Just like the cursing, man. Curse and like what your what comes out of your mouth should be honoring God every single moment. Yeah, it should be honoring God. It really should. So, yes, what comes out of your mouth needs to honor God. Number twenty, may those curses become the Lord's punishment for all for my accusers who speak evil of me. But deal well with me, O Sovereign Lord, for the sake of your own reputation. Rescue me because you are so faithful and good. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is full of pain. I am fading like the shadows of, at dusk. I am bruised, brushed off like a, I am brushed off like a locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my skin, and I am skin and bones. Bones. I am a joke to people everywhere. When they see me, they shake their heads in scorn. Do you fast? It says, you know, my knees are weak from fasting, for, and I am skin, from, skin and bones. You know, if you want an answer from God, I suggest you fast. Because prayer and fasting, things come out. Prayer and fasting, right? So when you pray, you're supposed to fast. It's a th you know what I mean? It just it's, so You get closer to God. Your, um, your body is like, you know, I fast two days a week, right? That's what God has called me to do. And, um, and I don't, you know, he gives me the energy. He, he gives me the energy. And so it's a different fast when you fast to lose weight compared to when you fast for God, because when you fast for God, um, he gives you the energy, um, Help me, O oh Lord, my God. Number 26, help me, O oh Lord, my God. Save me because of your unfailing love. Let them see that this is your doing, that you yourself have done it, Lord. Then let me curse, then let me curse me. Let them curse me if they like, but you will bless me. When they attack, they will be disgraced, but I, your servant, will go on right and rejoicing. May my accusers be clothed with disgrace, May their humiliation cover them like a cloak. But I will give repeated thanks to the Lord, praising, praising him to everyone. For he stands beside the needy, ready to save them from those who condemn me, them. Those who condemn You know, God, look at my time. I think it's a three. Um, when people attack you, Right? When you when you get attacked by demons or whatever, where's people, whatever, when they want to just, right? Just remember God can save you. God can save you. He saves me every single day. Like, stuff will come up against me and it's like, Jesus? You know? Yeah. We're almost out of time, so I'm going to pray us out. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful message, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you bestowed on us, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you for the wonderful and blessed day that you already prepared for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for blessing us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I love you so much. Have a wonderful and blessed day.